Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a WordPress server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image contains pre-installed WordPress server, MySQL and phpMyAdmin. So from this product page, simply click on get it now. After that, click on continue. After that, from this page, simply click on create. And then you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have and then choose the resource group by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call this one as WordPress. After that, choose the region or zone where you want to deploy your virtual machine and then make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. After that, choose the size of the virtual machine according to your requirements. Once that is done, you need to create the administrator account for your Windows Server 2019 which we would be using to connect to our virtual machine for an RDP connection. So give yourself a username and a respective password. After that, simply click on review plus create. Now this is going to start a validation process. So simply wait for the validation process to complete. Once the validation process is done, simply click on this create button right here to actually create this virtual machine. After that, simply wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, the next step is to actually access the virtual machine using an RDP connection. So for that, simply click on go to resource and then from this overview page, simply click on connect and then choose RDP. After that, you would get this option to download the RDP file, click on it and download the RDP file. And once downloaded, simply click on the RDP file to launch the remote desktop connection. So simply click on connect and then you will be prompted about your credentials. So click on more choices, use a different account and then provide the details for the administrator account that you have just created. After that, simply hit OK and then you would be prompted once more that you are trying to connect to a remote host. So click yes and wait for the connection to be established. Once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server to completely load. Now once the Windows Server has completely loaded, the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to go through the initial setup wizard for WordPress. Now to do that, simply click on this icon that says localhost on the desktop. So let me just full screen it. So choose the language, click on continue and then provide the details for your site. So let's just assume that I want to create a site name as CIS. So I'll just type that over here. And then for the username, I'm going to go with CIS admin. And then you can simply type in the password for this username or for this administrator account. And then simply provide your email address. And then to finally install this WordPress, simply click on this button that says install WordPress. Now this is going to take a couple of minutes, but your WordPress would be installed. Now if you want to head over to the administrator page or the WordPress admin page, simply click on login or go over to this link which is localhost forward slash wplogin.php and then use the account that you have just created inside WordPress and then click on login. And there you go, you have your WordPress site up and running on your virtual machine hosted on Azure. Now let's talk about the database. So this image comes with MySQL and phpMyAdmin. So if you want to access the database or manage the database, you have this icon on the desktop which says phpMyAdmin. So double click on it to open up the portal for phpMyAdmin which allows us to manage MySQL database. However, as you can see that it is asking us for the username and the password. Well, the username is root and the password is set to a default one. Now to get this password, simply click the link in the description box to come to this step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up WordPress on Azure. And from here, you can see the default password. So simply copy this password and paste it inside this field and then hit go. It is strongly recommended that you change this default password to something else. Anyways, this is your phpMyAdmin for MySQL database. Now, if you want to access your WordPress website externally, not from within this virtual machine, then you need to do two more steps. Well, the first is you want to assign a DNS to your virtual machine. Now to do this, come to Azure and click on overview. And then you can see that the DNS name is not configured. Simply click on it to open up the configuration page for DNS. And in here, you want to make sure that the IP address assignment is set to static. After that, you want to provide yourself with a DNS name label. So I'm going to call it CIS WordPress demo. After that, simply hit save and wait for the process to complete. 
once that is done simply click on overview and then you would get this dns name so copy this and paste it inside a new tab and then hit enter now this should allow you to access your wordpress website that you have just created inside your virtual machine externally just like that well it seems a little blank because i have not customized it using wordpress however the website is up and running now this also brings us to the end of this tutorial now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up WordPress on Azure on Windows Server 2019 and also for the marketplace listing on Azure Market. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.